Ha! <laughs> Not your Billy Goat. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, and I T R O. Ha! Huh. Billy Goat. But we back with another reaction video, and we finna react to the craziest shoes in NBA history right now. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I really think this picture Photoshop. But anyway, I'm really reacting to this video because I'm in the shoes. I don't know if y'all really know that. Well, y'all gonna get to know that. I'm thinking about putting my sneaker life and how i feel about the culture right now on the channel but we're gonna get into that in a later date but right now we're finna get into this reaction video so let's go ahead and get it from the most expensive shoes in nba history to a pair of sneakers you can make a phone call on oh yeah wait for okay real, that's man. crazy right these now. are the craziest never seen that shoes ever. in nba history what the hell is that <laughs> whoa well, no way selling for upwards of a million dollars how many shoes do you own now about four thousand pairs of shoes we gotta start with Shaq. Yeah, I know Giannis got a collection. one of the weirdest shoes of all time. The Shaq shoe phone. Yeah, he right here. Flash right here. Hold on. No way. He really got a phone shoe. See, Shaq really creative. What up? Folks don't know. Shaq really Shaq creative. Is and dialing. That's crazy. But what's even crazier are LeBron shoes. Because he got a pair of sneakers that are worth 100000 See, in 2018, I believe LeBron it. reached a career milestone scoring 30,000 points. And Nike wanted to congratulate him on his achievement. So they called up the shoe surgeon and created the craziest pair of shoes LeBron no had way. ever seen. If it's not the 10. LeBron 15s, 24 karat gold, okay, iced out with crazy. 238 diamonds over genuine crocodile skin. And to top it off, oh, a shit. diamond My encrusted bad. lion pendant, all worth over a hundred grand. Damn, Jeez. these kicks are beautiful. But the shoe game isn't always this pretty, because Michael Jordan's got a pair of sneakers I know. that almost got someone killed. Back in 1995, Bro, when Jordan came back out in of day? retirement. No cap, back in the day, I really wish that shoe releases was how it was back in the day where you could really first come, first serve. I understand why they do it the way they do it now, but first come, first serve was the best way. Nike welcomed him back to the NBA with a brand new signature shoe, with the Air Concords. Jordan 11 Concords. Oh, God. When fans saw these shoes, they lost their minds. Now, they looked amazing, so, hard, so when they hit the stores a few months later, they sold out immediately. And over the next decade, it became one of the most popular pair of Jordans ever. But I heard about that. In 2011, fans took their love for these shoes too far. I heard about Nike this story decided right to here. drop a retro version of the Concords right before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Sneakerheads were willing to risk it all. People who waited in line all night long to get the new Air Jordan basketball shoes flooded. I was young as fuck. I was like 11. Just after seven this morning, they literally broke a door off the hinges. This was the scene in Kansas City where people were sprinting oh through God. the halls. Burnt, man. Look, it came all in my face. Jeez. And officers arrested three other people for breaking down the mall door during all the chaos. Yeah. All that over a pair of J's. Yeah. These fans are it's nuts. Real. And so is Metal World Peace, because he designed the weirdest pair of shoes. And He's so weird, history. bro. See, back in 2014, <laughs> he's the Metal weirdest guy ever. To China to play in the CBA. He was looking to pay his respects to the Chinese culture. So not only did he change his legal name to the Panda's Friend, but he also dropped a brand new signature sneaker. What? The Panda's Friend shoes. This is the third time he changed his name. No cap. With his very own stuffed panda. Yeah. He really took that from um with some Jeremy Scotts. Meta. If y'all know, y'all know. Are unbearable, dog. I mean, you wouldn't find him in my closet, but you might find him in PJ Tucker's, because this dude has the biggest shoe collection in the NBA. Oh, God, See, he do. Over the years, PJ's been doing a little... When you advertise with Google, search ads are just the beginning. Uh, I gotta invest in the, the um... When users that Google ad shit. Soul search, collecting over 5,000 pairs of sneakers. 5,000. Where the hell do you even is fit? 5,000 pairs of sneakers. Wait. There's no way you should really have that many sneakers. Cause look, I think realis realistically, you should have like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't really say. I think like the most shoes, I like, okay. Like if I was rich, the most shoes I probably have is probably like. 200 the reason why i say 200 or i would try to keep it around 200 is because a 5,000 pair of shoes that means if you were to wear each one of those shoes 
one time a year. It's only 365 days a year. So you'll be, if you got one shoe, you probably wouldn't wear that shoe again for another six years. Not even that. Like, I'm tripping. My math is hella off. You probably wouldn't wear that shit for like 14 years. Crazy. Sneakers. Well, PJ not only filled an entire room in his mansion with shoes, but he also bought a house just to store his sneakers. Hey, what's Jeez. up? It's PJ Tucker, and welcome to my sneaker loft. He, he the going loft crazy. Is primarily for storage. There wasn't enough space in my house to be able to put all my shoes, so I thought, you know, I got to get a house. And this place is a shoe head's dream, because it's here that PJ stores the most valuable shoes. And his yeah. entire collection, like his Back to the Future Nike Max, or his Stewie Griffin LeBron 6s, and even this pair, PJ's custom Diamond Swoosh Air Force 1s, worth over 250,000 right right hold a quarter you. mil for a single pair of shoes. Yeah, he going that's crazy. wild. But there's one pair of shoes that's worth more than PJ's entire collection. These are Dwayne Wade's Li Ning Way of Wade 4s. They're so valuable, they require armed security just to transport. Yeah, what? this thing strapped with diamonds and sapphires, set in 18 karat white gold with a solid gold tag. So in 2016, when they were put up for auction, they were valued at a ridiculous $4 million. 000. Whoa. Damn, for that price, your feet are looking pretty. But I can't what? say the same for pretty. this next pair. Because we got to talk about the ugliest sneakers boots. in NBA history. See, in 2001, Adidas announced that the Kobe 2s were coming out. The fans were expecting something iconic. I mean, we're talking about Kobe. When the world finally saw these shoes, they wanted to rip their eyes out. <laughs> God damn! Adidas dropped the Toaster 2s. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy said the Toaster 2s. Like, what? But no, these are shit. Oh, what the hell are those? Kobe, well, he was disgusted my boy, but so no. after the 2002 season, met with Adidas executives Kobe eight, who paid him Kobe $8 seven. million just to cancel his shoe deal Kobe to get out of his contract. Man, these shoes were a disaster. But not, well, it, wasn't it could have been a lot worse, because wearing these shoes is considered cheating. Yeah, hmm? in 2010, Athletic Propulsion's lab was on a sweat. mission. They wanted to design a pair of basketball sneakers that would change the NBA forever. The APL Concept One. Oh, I think I heard of the these. Shoes I think I heard of these. Special technology it can help called you jump load and launch, or like that. designed to increase a player's vertical jump over three inches. Yeah, these things gave you hops, and all of a sudden, you had old heads at the rec center looking like Giannis. So, so APL dead. thought it was just a matter of time before the Concept Ones took over the NBA. But instead, the league said no, banning the shoes for quote giving players an unfair competitive advantage. And you'd think this would have been a bad look for APL, but instead, it was a blessing in disguise. Because APL turned the ban into a full blown marketing campaign. And the shoe's been popular ever since. Now, look, the NBA might be I've worried about APLs, but what they really got to worry about are Montrez Harrell's shoes. Hey, what? make sure y'all get a close up on Montrez Harrell's shoes now. Montrez you are, Harrell's different. You are a DR Sports coat. Today. Look at them shoes. I wonder how much the coat cost. I've never seen nobody but a boxer wearing shoes. Right. <laughs> Fur on his shoes. Mm. That man's rocking the ballerinas. Not gonna That's lie, fine. them hard. But they're not on Jason Tatum's love. My opinion. Because his shoes can tie themselves. Yeah, in 2019, what? Tatum collabed with Nike to promote the Hyper Adapt BB, the first self tying basketball shoes in the world. On the app, you can see you could unlace it, tighten them up. Left, right, that tight. Left, right. Then That's you got all right. the different colors. I don't think I right ever wear those. Oh, wow. Yeah. Man, those shoes are ridiculous. But that's nothing compared to what we got coming up. Because one player's shoes almost ruined his career. While another shoe is edible. Yeah, I'll tell you guys all about that in a second. But first, we got to talk about our sponsor. DraftKings. Yeah, that's right. Looking to add a little spice to your you NBA season? Head, Teaming up with my safe, secure, and reliable. So what are you doing? Well, you Download the app. Use to code. It's got a pair of shoes that you can literally eat. Yeah. In 2018, after what? Harden won the MVP award, Trolley, his favorite candy company, wanted to honor him. So they created a six-pound, life-size gummy version of Harden's Volume 2s. 
in, but I do to nibble on those toes. But it'd be pretty tough, because there's only three pairs in existence, and they each cost $2,677. One buck for every point he scored. But if you think that's unusual, then you haven't seen Cat Shoes, because he has the creepiest sneaker collection. A business account could help boost your TikTok content. Here's how. Meet oh, Anya. Oh, so you run ass. a small business on TikTok? What? In the NBA, over the years, Carl's been taking his Nike Hyper Dunks and putting a spooky twist on them. From his custom Friday the 13th Them shoes so to a Stranger Things sneakers. Hard. Even his pair of Grinch kicks. Them okay. Yeah, Carl's shoe but game is, is scary. Crazy. But Kyrie Irving's is a little too scary. See, ever since 2011, when Kyrie first signed with Nike, he's been a pillar of sneaker culture. From legendary colorways to iconic collaborations, Kyrie's shoes have become an empire. I mean, by 2016, his Kyrie 3s were the best-selling basketball shoes in the world. I remember those times. I had but some then, Kyrie's. I think I had the later, 3s. Kyrie dropped a pair of shoes that no one them. saw coming. I remember Kyrie those. Kyrie 4 confetti. No, and at them, first Kyrie glance, fours, I had those. doesn't look like any other sneaker. Not that colorway though. We're hiding something dark. Because on the back of the shoe is the Eye of Providence, aka the Eye of the Illuminati. Yeah. And it's not only freaking me out, but it's freaking fans out too. Ugh, this thing is cursed. And so are Zion's shoes. Because one pair of sneakers almost ruined Zion's career on February 20th, 2019. Zion laced he up his right Nike now. PG 2.5s for a primetime college game against North Carolina. And with thousands yeah, really of fans, players, and celebrities in attendance, people were expecting to watch Zion dominate. But then, something crazy happened. The rebounding team, usually that's the North Carolina Tar Heels. Slipping and injured is Zion Williamson. I mean, his, his shoe blew apart. Zion's shoe literally exploded. I mean, damn. That could have destroyed the man's foot and ruined his basketball career. God, Thankfully, been. Zion was okay. And it turns out, this incident was such a big moment that these shoes are now worth a fortune. What would be the upper range that you could see this thing going for at auction? You know, I've seen NBA worn on one game All-Star jerseys go for 180000 It would not surprise me if it topped $250,000. A quarter mil for some busted PGs. <laughs> That's so crazy. crazy. And speaking of crazy, Jeez, you, you gotta mention Kanye West. Because this dude made a pair of basketball shoes that got banned. Back in 2015, mm -hmm. Kanye was trying to design the craziest basketball shoe the league had ever seen. So over the course of three years, he designed more than 300 concept sneakers, all to try to make the perfect shoe. And in 2018, he finally did it, unveiling to the world the easy basketball quantums. They kind of hard though. were the sexiest shoes he had ever released. So he was trying to get them out to NBA players immediately. But unfortunately for him, when the league saw how flashy they were, they kicked Kanye's dreams to the curb, banning the shoes for being too reflective. Now Kanye might have a few screws loose, but he's not the only one. Because we gotta talk about the craziest designer if he just in took sneaker that out. history, LeVar Ball. See, LeVar's a schemer through and through. And in 2017, as his kids were being talked about as future NBA stars, he wanted to capitalize on all the hype. So he decided to create his very own sneaker ass. company called the Big Baller Those Brand. So and with his sons at his side, LeVar was ready to take BBB shacks. to the moon. So they started dropping signature sneakers for the whole family. D'Angelo got the Jell-O 3s, Lonzo got the Z-O 2s, Lamelo got the, the MB 1s, and hell, even LeVar got his own shoe. On the Stan surface, Smith looking it seemed like BBB was kicking the competition's ass. But in 2018, they got into some trouble with another BBB, the Better Business Bureau. It's after receiving hundreds of complaints from customers, talking about late orders, bad customer service, and poor quality of shoes, Big Baller Brand was officially given an F as their company great, and it's been downhill ever since. Man, I'm glad I'm not in LeVar's shoes, but I'm even happier I'm not in John Morant's, because his shoes sparked a worldwide controversy. See, uh, during the 2022 I, playoffs, I, I was hooping in one this. of his favorite pairs of kicks, his Kobe 4 preludes, when 
fans noticed something strange. Josh's shoes didn't look like ordinary Kobe's. The tongue was too short, the heel pattern was off, and the Nike swoosh just wasn't the right color. Yeah, they were fake. What? People were wondering, why is a millionaire NBA player wearing knockoff Nikes? Well, just a few days later, it all became clear. When Nike announced that they were suing StockX, one of the largest online shoe stores, for selling fake Nikes. Yeah, Ja bought fake Kobe's, and he didn't even know it. Well, mm. what's even crazier are Michael Jordan's shoes. Imagine He's got a pair of sneakers that are out of this world. Back in 1995, Jordan filmed one of the most iconic movies of all time, Space Jam. And while the movie itself is a classic, it's the shoes he wore during the film that really stole the show. Because after filming Wrapped, MJ gave this pair of Jordan 11s to one of the crew members. And years later, those what? shoes ended up on an episode of Pawn Stars. Imagine where though. They were revealed to be one of the most valuable pairs of shoes in the world. So what do you think they would go for? Just the fact that Space Jam is the highest grossing basketball movie of all time, and also The Last Dance that did come out, which made all of Michael Jordan's memorabilia just go through the roof. I can see these selling for upwards of a million dollars. One million for a pair of shoes. I was going to say That's higher than that. So. That's about right. Per toe. God damn. It can't get any crazier than that, right? Well, believe it or not, there's one more pair that tops it the single most valuable pair of Jordans in existence. These are the original Nike Airships. And these shoes are historic. As in Those 1984, when Jordan was just a rookie, he wore these sneakers in his first few NBA games, making them the oldest known Michael Jordan game-worn Nikes. And with shoes that iconic, sneakerheads would do anything to cop this pair. So in 2021, and they were put up for auction. They became the most valuable pair of Jordans on the planet, selling for an insane 1.47 million. Whoa, 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 whoa. God damn, that's a whole lot of dollar for some shoes. That's Jesus. a lot. Jesus. But believe it or not, NBA players are blowing even more money than that. I mean, James Harden spent a million dollars in one night. And Allen Iverson, he kept spending money till he went broke. Look, yeah, if you want to yeah. hear more, you crazy. need to click on this video here, toots. You little tootsie toots. So all right, y'all. That's all for this video. I appreciate y'all for rocking out with me. And my next video, another reaction. It's probably going to be another reaction. So, yeah. Y'all stay tuned and subscribe. Like the comment. Pause. Subscribe, like, and comment. And actually, let me know what y'all want to see. So, yeah. Ha, it's your boy, Nacho Billy Goat. Toast.